The search function in Mail for iOS is available within any mailbox. While viewing the list of messages, swipe down to reveal the search field. Currently, we're in the iCloud inbox, so if I enter a search now, only emails from this inbox are going to be included in the search results. But swipe down again after performing the search, and I could switch to all mailboxes from just the current mailbox. If we move into the All Inboxes mailbox and perform a search, it's automatically going to look into both the iCloud and Gmail accounts set up on this iPad. So I'm going to enter a search for the term Tutorial, which returns 30 results. Tap on the Search for Tutorials button here, and the search term gets a gray background. I can now tap on the search term itself, which then gives me the option to search the entire message body of the emails or only the subject lines. In this case, when I tap on subject, the number of results goes down to 18. I'm going to tap cancel and do the same search again. Notice that when I enter a term, subjects that contain the term are listed. Tap on one of these to search for that full subject line. In this case, that only returns one result. If you have a lot of emails with the same subject, they would all appear in this search. Let's see what else we can search for. I'll start with a name, Andrew. This time I get a People section in the results. This will display those stored in my contacts that have Andrew in their name, or an email address that also contains Andrew, but are not saved as contacts. Now let's search by date range. Enter last week and I can show only the emails that I've received in the last seven days. Switch to April 2016 to search through that month. Once you have the gray background on any search term, you can then combine it with another term. So I'm going to add tutorial to this search. Doing that leaves me only with the emails that I received in April that also contain the word tutorial. I can quickly remove the April 2016 search from here and do the search again, but within all of 2016. Enter flagged to quickly view your flagged messages. We could then combine that search with another term. Of course, I could also do this right out of the flagged mailbox. Enter the term attachments to find all the messages that contain attachments. This again could be combined with another search term or terms. No need to limit it to just two. So using the search feature in Mail can really cut down on the amount of time you spend looking for older emails to reference or reply to. Up next, we'll look at composing emails.